Good afternoon, good morning, good night, whatever it happens to be, I'm glad you're here. So today is actually my last day on campus, and so throughout all the packing and stuff that I've been doing to move back um, home for about a week, I honestly did not want to play anything in specific, but I was sitting here thinking, and I was like, what's one game I haven't played in a super duper long time? And that game is surprisingly Dirk Valentine. I probably have not played this since elementary school which was a long time ago um, but pretty much self-explanatory once you start getting inside of it but you're this British officer that has to save the world and I think um, I think some tea um, but this of course came out in 2008 and since then I have not played it at all so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it all right let's the year is 1897 for five long years, Europe has been ravaged by Baron Battleberg, steam-powered war machines led by Great Britain, a handful of... Whoop, bye. That, that was nice. Dirk Valentine and the Fortress of Steam. Roof Area 1. Alright, and this this is, um as you saw at the beginning, it came out in 2008, and I'm pretty sure that I was around when it came out, and that was probably the last time I played it. Hello, Dirk. Monty here. It's really good to be all working with you again. Looks like our nifty plan to sneak into you onto the fortress has whacked. I'll give you the plan as we go. If Battleberg is listening in, damned if I'm going to let them muck it all up. So here, so here we are doing this on a strictly need-to-know basis. Don't know, old chap? Don't worry, old chap. Everything will be clear soon. It's time to deal with those rotten Battleberg. You've been armed with our latest top secret weapon, the Chain Cannon. This is your change to test out this beauty. A truly ingenious piece of engineering. Why don't you try it out on those guards? Alright, alright. Pop! Pop! <laughs> I always love the like little side scrollers where they just kind of fall off into oblivion. The cannon's pretty dangerous, as you can see, trying freeing those prisoners by shooting the lock. These plunk plunky chaps have been collecting vital information about the fortress, so free as many as you can. <laughs> I remember they jumped off, but I forgot that like their mustaches and eyes suddenly become visible. These lifts will take you to the next area of your fortress. Just walk in to use them. Well done! Prisoners saved, level score, total score. Next level. Um, I'm hoping that I can get through this all in one video. Um, that's the hope. If not, I'll probably split it up into two episodes. But I'll probably end up playing it all, all the way through tonight. Try and collect as many medals as you can. If you can't get them, try using the cannon. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. I see what you're doing. Shoot. This is, as well, a puzzle game. Oh, I'll get some more of these. This is a puzzle game as well, so the more you progress, the more puzzles you kind of have to solve with them. As you can see, you can bounce off your your chain gun off things and you can like try to hit stuff later on try freeing the cannon that the metal's above see how the cannon head rebounds off the back <laughs> well he's saying exactly what i was rebounds off the black metal armored walls move to my next message to learn something very useful <laughs> notice you are now standing on a green and brown non-armored surface of this surface you can create chain bridges by simply firing at the wall or floor at the same surface try firing the metal on the right Oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, you can make like little bridges and stuff. Um, so you're constantly trying to get through like obstacles. Use the chain is easy. Just remember to be standing on the right sort of surface. The black armored walls are still useful. Try bouncing the wall head at things and it still hurts even if it doesn't make a chain. Boop. Oh shoot, I forgot to... Excuse me. Ah, shoot! Dang it. Ah, shoot it. Yeah, this is, this is what I remember, is me failing over and over and over again and having to, um, there we go, I got it. Me having to go back and having to, like, redo mess. Alright, you can jump onto a chain above, and you can drop down through a chain by pushing the relevant directional button. Use this technique to get to the next exit. Pop, 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 pop. Bloop, bloop. Yeah. Super dupes. And then you go, boop, boop. And then you hop back up here, and then you jump, and then you jump. Oh no! I almost, I almost ruined it. I almost ruined it. Oh, I made it. Sweet. Dark. 
Hope you're getting the hang of it. Our spies have discovered the fortress is a maze of weapon factories. Use the cannon to get around it. Three, roof area three. Dirk, you are entering the fortress outer defenses. Make sure to avoid the missile and other enemies as they will damage your cannon power bar. Lose all your power and the mission is over. So it's not a health bar, it's a cannon power bar. That's interesting. I wonder why they chose to do that. But anyway, here is a sleeping guy um, eating lunch, it looks like. Pa! Bye, mate. Kind of feel bad killing him in his sleep, but whatever. So here's the question. First, first question of the day: Why is there just random cannons shooting out of nowhere? You'd think that kind of be a safety hazard. Um, you think the union would be on this? You're welcome, chaps. I love you. So I forgot to mention that. That was a pretty good one. Dang it. The cannons, they, they aren't just there to hurt you. The main factor that they do, the thing that's really, really annoying, is the fact that they will kill your chain. So as you're, like, trying to jump up and maneuver through these obstacles, suddenly a missile can hit your chain. And you'll see, I think, up on this next section. Have you tried using the chain to stop a missile? It's pretty useful. A sharpshooter like you could probably hit the missile with the chain head. Let's see, can I do that? Pop! Oh, yes, I can! Pop! Pop! Oh, like that. Right there. No! Ouch! It hit me again. Hit! Let me kill this guy. Come on. Uh, yeah! Rebound kill. Oh no! A moving part! My what a cliche! <laughs> Does this Baron seriously think that he can, that he will be a challenge? But be careful, Dirk. They can crush you against a wall. Oh no, not walls. Not the oh evil walls. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh, they can come on things too. Now that that I did not know. See, it might have been ten years since I've played this, but you still. Still learning stuff every day. Learning new stuff about this. Oh, bam. A test again. 10 out of 10. That's what I would rate it. Now, I always love games like this. Not even if they're, like, good. But just the fact that, to me, they're nostalgic. These are the games that my friends and I played in elementary school. And these are the games that we talked about. And um, even more so than that, these are the games that we would stay up late at night and play just just, just constantly through the night because we thought they were so cool. Keep an eye out for the white hot spots. Hit them with your train to make the platform stop moving. I wouldn't call those white, but okay. Whatever floats your boat, Professor. There's one game in particular that I remember... Oh, shit. That I remember one of my friends playing. And I can't remember what it was. But the game is this like mystery style kind of... I think it may be a point and click mystery style game. But I really want to find it and I really want to play it. Uh, this is one of those that like... It took me probably just five minutes to remember the name of this game. And to look it up. Because I was looking up... um. The way I remembered this one in particular. Ah, ah, the strange teleporters reported uh, reported by spies. Hmm, I have a hunch. Dirk, fire the chain at it and see what happens. Just, just interesting teleportation devices. You know what, Dirk? Just, just shoot, shoot something at it. It'll be fine. Amazing. Wonderful. The teleporters worked with the chain. Dirk. This is exciting news. Experiment as much as you can. <laughs> Just kill them in so many different ways, Dirk. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, what was I saying? No, the reason I remember this game so well is the friend that I played it with, we were just... Oh, ouch! The friend that I played it with, his name's Nathan. We were talking about Dirk Valentine, and he was telling me about this game called Dirk Valentine. And we, I have no idea what it was, or what it was about, or anything like that. But he, 
but he warned me. He said, it's Dirk, D-I-R-K, Valentine, not Dirty Valentine. Trust me, you don't want to look that up. <laughs> and ever since then, I just remember that was kind of like, oh, okay. Um, and ever since then, that's the, that's the only reason I remember this, is I, I, I looked up, I was like, it's not dirty. It, it's got to be something else. So for about five minutes, I was thinking, I was like, what, what's close? And finally, I just looked, I, I went to mini clip in their search bar, looked up Dirty Valentine, and sure enough, Dirk Valentine came up. Watch out, Dirk. Look, those Baron's flying bomb makers are active here. They aren't armored, so just smash the ballistic bright blighters out of the sky. If I didn't know better, I would have jumped on that blimp, and I guarantee you it would have killed me. Oh no! I almost died! Oh no! Coming real close to death. You'd think I'd be better, wouldn't you? But no sorry. I am the same crappy video game player than I was in elementary school. Oh, I died! Let me just mosey on back up to where I was. <laughs> I didn't mosey on back up to where I was very well. Uh, I swear, I swear I'm better. I'm, I'm good at, I'm good at game. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just overshooting it. I need to calm down, I need to focus, I need to play the game for what it actually is, which is a game. Ouch! Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out. That's what I was talking about. Gosh. Um, Miniclip has a lot of games that pretty much were my elementary and middle school, and I'd love to go back and play a lot of them. One in particular that I remember is a paintball game for the... What was it? It wasn't even the... Obama election. It was way before that. And there was a paintball. It was called like presidential paintball or something like that on mini clip. And it was, oh, it was so much fun. I loved it. Um, maybe I'll play that in the future. Dirk, the leaked plans say you are directly above an entrance into the fortress. You're doing great, but I fear the Baron must know you are now on board by now. Hmm. Try shooting that teleporter with a glowing arrow. I suspect it'll trigger that switch. How do you know what I'm looking at, mate? You got eyes on me? like the James Bond of the British Empire. Oh, the poor soul. Didn't even stand a chance. Do you guys not see me? Hello? Pop, pop. It's your fault. I've got a feeling that these switch that these winch platforms are the key to getting around the fortress. Best to try and stay with them when they move. Shoot. <laughs> um, Professor? Could you, uh, could you help me, please? Uh, fantastic. I didn't even need to help. Perfect. This was the first of many parkour games. Who knew that my generation was the one to invent parkour games? I didn't. I did not know. The gas factory. Time for a plan, eh? Duh. These are dark times. The Baron has committed the foulest of deeds. Stolen Queen Vi Oh, she actually legit stole Queen Victoria? That's pretty intense. The Baron knows we have discovered his secret fortress and thinks we won't attack with the Queen inside. But if you can get in, free her and escape, the Royal Navy is ready to destroy the fortress. The Baron will not give up without a fight. The fortress is the lynch is the linchpin. It builds his monstrous machines and houses his repellent army of mutant men. It is the black heart of his evil empire. Phew! Got a bit overexcited there. Let's stick with the immediate problems. Deadly green poison gas. Uh, uh, avoid it. Thank you, Professor. You are very helpful. And I didn't know, I guess I just never paid attention, but I didn't know that these guys were mutants. I thought they were just like workers. So that's that's interesting that they are mutants. 
I wonder what that spells out. Like, how did he create them? What kind of mutant powers do they have out? If they have any. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, Jack. Although these rotten orators are ungodly scum, even they cannot resist a lovely cup of Earl Grey. Oh, I've got Earl Grey, I think. So keep an eye out for these refreshing pick me ups. <laughs> I forgot about the little. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is beautiful. I don't. It occurred to me. I don't think I've ever actually beaten this game all the way through. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave this episode here and pick up right next with the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if it's day wherever you happen to be, have a great day. If it is night, please have a good night and sweet dreams. I will see you later. Bye-bye.